my body has been through enough trauma in 26 years. It's time for my body to get some peace of mind. For 26 years, 34-year-old Reyes Salazar has been fighting to live a normal, healthy life. Before he was 10, Reyes underwent multiple surgeries to remove a bone tumor on his head caused by a disease called fibrous dysplasia. During his second operation, doctors encountered another obstacle while putting in a breathing tube. They noticed that it was not sitting correctly as it should have been. So they did the scope, the camera through the nose, and found that I had a cyst near my airway. To remove the non-cancerous cyst, Reyes underwent laser surgery, but the cyst eventually appeared in his airway again. After more surgery, Reyes went years without problems, until last June when he began struggling to eat food. They found the cyst there again, but not in the same area as the ones in the past. This one was more in the back of the base of the tongue. This time, Reyes wanted to try something different than the laser surgery. That's when he found out about the new surgical robot coming to the Huntsman Cancer Institute. This is the first robot where all the instruments com can come out through one single port and then splay out inside of a patient. Dr. Brian Mitzman is a thoracic surgeon at Huntsman Cancer Institute and had a major role in getting the device. Dr. Mitzman says the single port robot is more compact than the previous version they've been working with. This allows us to get into much tighter spaces through much smaller incisions, do more precise surgery. Precise surgery performed by a surgeon who's actually sitting at this console nearby where they control each one of these metal instruments through their movements. You have um, two little hand levers that you manipulate the tools with and you also have several foot pedals that allow you to kind of zoom the camera in and out. Huntsman Cancer Institute surgeon Dr. Hillary McCrary has already received a year's worth of training on the device and while she admittedly doesn't get the same type of tactile response from this robot as traditional hands-on operations. It makes the staff more comfortable, it makes me more comfortable. And hopefully makes patients more comfortable. Dr. McCrary is in charge of Reyes's surgery and believes he's going to have a better outcome from this procedure. When I'm doing my body this favor to fight one more time and it deserves that. I've I fought so hard all these years and As we anxiously wait to see how Reyes's surgery turns out, Huntsman Cancer Institute anticipates they'll treat two to three patients per week with this new robot. And Dr. McCrary believes that they'll help more people moving forward as awareness of this new technology grows. Reporting in Salt Lake City, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.